hello. So I am getting ready for work and I'm so excited. If you've been on my Instagram, you saw I just got some amazing palettes. One being the Moonspell palette. I can't even hold it right. The Moonspell palette from Lunia Beauty. So I thought it'd be fun to sit down now and uh, do a like work look with this because I, I don't have a choice. I can't do something really cool with it. Uh, but like, I am obsessed with this packaging. It feels like, I don't know, like fake leathery cardboard. Is that a thing? It's got a cute little saying from Manny on the back. Something wicked this way comes. Be ready to, sh to shock and amaze in this enchanting 15 color palette. Go from good witch to bad witch in a snap. This palette will put a spell on you. Oh, and it's in Spanish too. That's like really cool. So I bought this from Glam Raider and it took like a day to get here. So, and I was so excited for this palette. It has a really nice mirror. Hi, Dev. Oh, I haven't even taken the thing off. <laughs> I already like the mirror. And the mirror still has a sticker on it. But this, it feels so nice and weighted. And this is probably like one of my first like real, I'm like, can you call it a novelty palette? But here's another look at that mirror and look at how not blurry that is. Beautiful. Have a look at you guys. And these are the shades. And this is what I'm so excited for. And look, it's focused on my favorite shade. A huge part of the reason I bought this palette is for this one shade, which is Prue. Here it is. Uh, Prue is my name and it's, I mean, yes, this is based on the Prue from Charmed. But I get that every time I tell someone my name, they're like, oh, I like Prue and Charmed. Yes. At least they know how to say it and they know how to spell it. <laughs> but I don't even... I might sneak it on my inner corner, but I just... I can't do a crazy look for work, guys. Like, I'm so sorry. I just can't. But I have figured out how to wear colour to work, I think. So I'm going to lay down the Urban Decay Primer Potion on my lids. And then we're going to do... It's going to be, like, pretty much an all-matte look, I reckon. I did a look like this yesterday wearing my Glamour shades and I just did a, I couldn't even talk, um, I just put brown and green on my lips. So I think we can do that again. I think purple is probably a bit too crazy. You just gotta remember like, I've, I work in a hospital, I, I just, I can't go too crazy. As excited as I would love to, I just can't. But this is how excited I am to play with this part. So let's bring you in, let's have a look at where this is gonna lead us. Cause I'm not sure yet. I don't know. <laughs> Rocking with excitement. And sorry, I've messed around with the lighting. So we've got the daylight. I've got that window open up there again. I was curious how it would maybe look. So if I look a bit darker that side, it's because there's no light this side. I wonder if I turn this on. Does that make any difference? I don't know. I'll have a look <laughs> later. But first off, I'm going to start with Kiki. Kiki, this shade over here, which is this lovely brown. And I was going to pack this like on my outer corner with my Wang Goss number 20 brush. So I absolutely love the themes of this palette. It's so cute. This is like one of the first things I've just been like totally into the theme. I think this is, yeah, like this is the first like real themed palette. I was like, oh yeah, I can get behind that. That's amazing. <laughs> and like I did used to watch Manny MUA a lot when I first started watching YouTube. And I mean, I think I sort of stopped for a while. I haven't, but he is always just so much fun to watch and so easy to watch. He's like an expert YouTuber. You know how sometimes it's just nice to watch people who are really good at this? I am like, um, like I try, but I'm not like amazing at this. I'm going to go in with a win for it. I like, I try. I love doing YouTube. I love making videos and I love playing my makeup. Um, it makes me so happy and it gives me a great reason to use all this stuff I buy because I would probably buy all of this if I didn't have a YouTube channel. I'm sure there's like some purchases that I probably wouldn't have justified. But um, I love buying makeup and I think even without YouTube I would still be buying a lot of it. And then I'm going to go in with, yeah, I'm going to put Bonnie. Which is this lovely green, and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. I swatched the sparkles the other day, and they are stunning. Like, oh my god, I'm excited to play with them. But for work, this is a nice, simple work look I'm doing. And I know I have green eyes, and green eyes, and blue, like, 
green eyeshadow isn't meant to look good but I love this like I don't know I just I like the way this looks on me I've never really understood the eyeshadow you know like my eyes are this color so I can only wear these colors it just seems like super restrictive like and it's makeup who really cares I want a clean blending brush I'm just gonna go on my ColourPop blending brush and I'm gonna bring it in the like around and just clean it up at the top without putting any extra shade on these blended beautifully I like them and Winifred what that was a really nice peachy brown and then Kiki is a nice normal brown and I really like this brown that's Bonnie it's like a yellowy <laughs> brown yellowy green I don't know it's just like a bit of fun I'm sorry the brush I used to put Bonnie on I'm just gonna put a little bit more on just to make sure we get that you know like the bottom of my lashes is a crown brush which is just like a fun little packing brush awesome all right and then for the little I just I can't resist I've got to I've got to put Prue my lead and I did used to love Charmed it was such a good show I didn't finish it though but I've always loved like all that witchy stuff I've like I've always loved witchy shows and I have been watching Sabrina I don't know this is just like it's completely up my alley so I'm just gonna do a little smidge we don't want to be like too crazy but look at that shimmer like it's insane I didn't even wet that oh my god I can't wait I'm so excited to use them all I, I'm so excited I forgot to put anything underneath my eye so I'm gonna put Marnie which is like a dark sort of like more khaki green and use that with the dirty brush I had that had Kiki on it and I'm just gonna bring this underneath my lash line what do you reckon is that like work appropriate I feel like the shimmer is like maybe too much either way to me I'm gonna wear it because I don't have a choice now I probably wouldn't usually put the shimmer on for work and just wear it like that which I think looks totally fine pretty happy with it let's chuck some mascara on I'm gonna go in with my Natio Amplify and separate mascara. Oh, and sorry, I didn't even mention. So this is my first impressions for this palette. I was just so excited to play with it. I'm too excited. I'm too excited. I want. Where is mint cream? Hello. I'm gonna put my NYX Faux White in mint cream on. This is one of my favorites from the NYX line. And this is just gonna help open up my eyes a little bit because I made it a bit dark underneath. Voila. All right, here is my look, my first look with the Money MUA palette. Um, I love the theme. I'm sorry if it's like a bit messy, but this is like how I wear makeup to work. <laughs> this isn't, this is just me filming a look for my everyday life. Not that I, like, I do wear make, the makeup in my videos every day. But if I'm going to work, this is probably pretty close to what I'm sort of enjoying wearing to work lately. A little bit of color, some browns and greens. And seriously, like, I cannot wait to play with these shimmers because they are beautiful seriously look at this Ooh, hoo, hoo, yes I'm gonna have so much fun I cannot wait so let me know if you picked up the moon spill palette if the theme speak to you let's zoom you out or like what you think about it oh, sorry. do you want to see me with my hair down well, sorry, I just washed my hair, but um, like people tend to look a little bit more made together when their hair is down, I think, sometimes. Anyway, let me know if this palette is on your radar, if you bought it, if you're interested in it, what your thoughts are. I'm kind of excited to play with it a little bit more. That just worked a dream. And like it's so heavy and cool. I love the little, I love the little sleeve it comes in. And like on the back, there's this cool little picture. I don't know what it means but I'm just like I'm into it I'm so into this palette so let me know what your thoughts are so far I'm super excited to do some more looks with this and you know I'm gonna use the shade Prue all over my shade because <laughs> all over my lid because you know I'm so excited that that's in here um, and I loved the inspo he used to name the palette it's really cool anyway thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed I hope like just thank you. I really appreciate it.